Assalamualaikum. Welcome back. I am going to be doing a recipe lab and um, I'm kind of excited. It's going to be my own recipe and I just hope you guys enjoy it. I'm going to try to go down the more healthful food avenue. Um, the recipe I'm going to be workshopping and I'm going to take you along this journey and then put the final recipe down below for y'all to enjoy um, is going to be like a margarita pizza with a cauliflower crust that way the carbs that we get are coming from um, lovely veggies and like instead of dough what gave me this idea is I was out with Sahara and Yusuf and my friend Naeem um, to this really amazing pizza restaurant. I posted it on my Instagram. Let me pull it up because off the top of my head I can't recall. It's, uh, I just found it. Hold on. Idiot. Uh, Pizzeria Testa. It is in Frisco and it's amazing pizza. Actually, I think it's the best pizza I've had in Dallas. And they had the two pizzas I like the most were their margarita and then they did this sort of four cheese. And I think I'm going to try and combine them. I know. I'm going to take you through how I'm going to set up this recipe. And we'll go from there. Today I went to Trader Joe's and I picked up some rice cauliflower and then uh, this is not a vegan recipe I'm sure you can make it vegan but because it has cheese I figured I'd go all out and do egg as well in the crust so the egg instead of gluten binding it uh, which is what happens with the pizza dough I'm going to use egg to bind so it stays solid. Uh, a whole ton of basil, which I'll use not all of that, maybe like a couple leaves, if that. Um, smoked paprika. I don't think I'm going to use it on this, but I don't know. Uh, ricotta cheese. Smoked. Did I already say smoked mozzarella? This. Smoked mozzarella is awesome. If you've never had smoked cheeses before on in your food, do it. Uh, it makes like mac and cheese more savory. It makes pizzas taste meaty when there's no meat. So I love smoked cheeses and I'm going to use smoked mozzarella. And I'm also going to be using nutritional yeast. All this stuff is at Trader Joe's so it's really easy to get. If you've never used, most people I would assume has never used nutritional yeast, let alone heard of it. Whatever recipe you're doing, it adds sort of like almost like a cheesy flavor. It's hard to explain. It kind of adds like that that savory umami flavor to certain things, which you usually get when you do meat dishes, but not really when you do. Um, vegan dishes. So this I think I'm going to add the nutritional yeast to the crust to add sort of a savory element which you would end up getting from a dough anyway. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm adding my riced cauliflower to the food processor and I want to make it almost powdery. Alright, so now that it's kind of like a finer grain, I'm actually thinking about microwaving it. This is experimentation, y'all. This is the fun part of cooking. Um, ooh, maybe I should have done the cauliflower in batches. Hmm definitely really wet which we don't want it to be it's the last thing we want is a soggy bottom I'm going to put some cling film on top and I'm gonna microwave it in two minute increments 
and see how it goes. All right, so I'm gonna make up a ricotta, sort of almost like a spread, like a savory spread. And I wanna put garlic in it. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to nuke this, microwave this for 30 seconds in the microwave. Because if you did raw garlic, raw garlic has this burny spice, and we, I don't want that. I want the savory, garlicky flavor, but without that burn. So you put it in the microwave for like 30 seconds, um, gets rid of it. I think it's better if we do this first, so that way it has a chance to marry the flavors a little bit. So I just put what I assume is a quarter of a cup of ricotta. I would prefer um, homemade, but we don't have homemade. Okay, so the cauliflower is clearly cooked and raw, raw ring to go, but it definitely has a lot of moisture to it. What I want to do is I want to dry out that moisture and hopefully actually um, get some roasted flavor as well. So I'm tipping it out. So I'm tipping it out onto a baking sheet and I'm going to make this a super thin layer. Try to get this as thin as possible. This is going to go in the oven. I currently have the oven at 450. I think I'm going to put it in for like 10 minutes. See how we fare. So because I want this to be a very healthy recipe, I don't want to have a whole ton of salt. So actually, this is the only salt I'm really going to add to this dish. So I want to make sure that it's enough to flavor but not overpower, I guess. Um, so that way you get a little bit of a bite of salt, but not, the whole thing isn't super salty. So I'm going to add a little and then see how it tastes and then add more. Okay, so I'm gonna get the cauliflower mixture ready. I'm adding one egg. Ooh, lovely. Nice, bright. Such a lovely orange yolk. Look at all that steam. I ground up or shredded some cheddar cheese and added it to my egg mixture. Um, I think it will give it a nice flavor. I squeezed out the moisture with some paper towels of the cauliflower. I'm adding that in. Honest to God, I think you can Unless you do like a low slow where it comes like really granularly, um, skip the oven step, go straight from the microwave to pressing with a paper towel and mixing it together with the egg and cheese right now. Let's see. Um, the cheese is going to add a little salt. See how much. Not a whole heck of a lot, but enough to give it some bite, though. Um, now, I have to decide how much of the nutritional yeast I want to add. Mm. The nice part about nutritional yeast, it may, may not, add 
that yeast flavor you get from the crust. Honestly, this smells like dough. So this may add exactly what we want. I'm going to add a tablespoon nutritional yeast. Hmm. Honest to God, it looks like dough right now. Like, look. Mm, smells good. Okay, so I put some tin foil on this sheet, and then I'm going to press this into a 10 inch round, which is what this is. <coughs> Actually, I think it's 9 inches, but shh. So this is my 10 inch pizza round. I'm going to put this in the oven for 10 to 20 minutes, depending. So we'll see. So I set it for 15 minutes and we're going to see it after that. Um, other than that, I think we're just going to clean up a little. but. We're definitely on our way to a pizza. Just came out of the oven. It's kind of like golden along the edges. You can see that. For the sauce, honestly, you can use whatever pizza sauce you like. But the thing that I love the most is, uh, and it's so simple, and instead of getting all the salt and sugar and regular pasta sauce, um, just use San Marzano t tomatoes. They have the most amazing flavor. So I just squished up one tomato, so I still have some chunks, and it's about a quarter of a cup. I'm gonna add that to our pizza crust. Can you see this? Hopefully. So it covers it just enough. Can you see that? What I'm going to do now is add the ricotta that I made up earlier, place it down, and then put some smoked mozzarella on it. And then put it in the oven for probably like another five minutes. And then once it comes out, I'm going to put the basil on. Also with the mozzarella, you can slice it thinly or you can shred it, whatever you want to do. I think I'm going to slice it thinly, but it's your prerogative. Let's move you so you can see. came out of the oven um, and I'm gonna I haven't tried it yet <clears throat> there's a couple things that I would do differently and I'll definitely put that in below but let's try this oh yeah that is delicious a few things I would do differently put that on a nonstick sill pad because it's a, getting it up off of the tinfoil. Um, and I'd kind of like, I think the crust needs to be a little bit drier. But other than that, so good. It doesn't taste like I'm eating like cauliflower. No, it doesn't taste like I'm eating pizza dough either, but this you need the smoked cheese though. Smoked cheese is life. Mmm, so good. Okay, so I'm gonna have another slice of this <coughs> But let me know What you think in the comments below with this recipe lab sort of idea? Um, yeah Hope you enjoyed the video make sure you like subscribe and share and Try out the recipe. I'd like to see your feedback as well put it in the comments below
I'll talk to you soon. Bye!